Here we describe the general process of splicing and demonstrate how an open reading frame is maintained within the mature messenger RNA or mRNA. In eukaryotes, mRNA is transcribed from the 5' prime to 3' prime direction using one strand of DNA as template. As the RNA is generated, it is processed in order to give rise to a mature message. One key step of RNA processing is splicing. We can use English letters, words, and sentences to illustrate the key concepts of splicing. Let us imagine that the following precursor message has been generated. Let us also pretend that each letter of this transcript is a nucleotide. As written, this message does not make much sense. But if we highlight the exons using red letters, we can identify a short sentence when we read just those letters. Conveniently for this illustration, all the exons are short. But do keep in mind that exons and introns are of variable lengths. In real life, the minimal size for an intron is about 40 nucleotides. Since the process message is a complete English sentence, the first six letters of the precursor message, highlighted in blue, before the definite article the, correspond to the 5' prime untranslated region, or 5' prime UTR. The blue letters after the red letters end correspond to the 3' prime UTR. The untranslated regions often contain information that helps regulate translation. The black letters between the exons correspond to introns. An intron begins with a 5' prime splice donor site and ends with a 3' prime splice acceptor site. Remember that the 5' prime splice donor site of the intron usually has the sequence GT, while the 3' prime splice acceptor site has the sequence AG. When we remove all the introns and begin reading at the first word, the message tells us that the fat old cat ate the big rat. The is the beginning of our process message and represents the start codon of the open reading frame. When you read this message, your brain converts the message into a mental image. Similarly, the translational machinery reads the process transcript and converts it into a protein. Because an exon could end in the middle of a word, we use the term phase to describe the number of letters between the last complete word or codon and the 5' prime splice donor site. If the last base of the codon coincides with the end of an exon, then we would consider the 5' prime splice donor site for that exon to be in phase 0. In this example, the word fat in our message is complete before the splice donor site. Hence, we would consider this splice donor site to be in phase 0. If the splice site cuts off the codon in an exon after one base, we would consider the 5' prime splice donor site for that exon to be in phase 1. In this example, the word cat is split between two exons. The letter C is in exon 2, and the letters A and T are in exon 3. If the splice site cuts off the codon in an exon after two bases, we would consider the 5' prime splice donor site for that exon to be in phase 2. In this example, the word 8 is split between two exons. The letters A and T are in exon 3, and the letter E is in exon 4. Note that the phase of the 5' prime donor site must be compatible with the phase of the 3' prime acceptor site. The sum of the donor and acceptor phases must either be 0, no additional codon, or 3, an additional codon. Do remember to analyze splice junctions carefully. Examine the splice junction between exons 4 and 5. There are two ways to form the words big rat. However, only the second option utilizes the canonical 5' prime splice donor and the 3' prime splice acceptor sites in intron 4.